oil rich Guyana pumping over half a million barrels of oil a day, generating over 30 million US in profits daily and giving six and a half percent, which is 35 million US salary increase to its public servants that can barely buy four slice pumpkin for the minimum wage workers. You tell me if this is not insanity going on in this land. Generating over 30 million US profits a day and can only give 35 million as an increase to all its 54,000 public servants for the whole year. Tell me, man, if this is not a crime being committed against its citizens. More than half of this population who are not going to bed hungry, finding it difficult to grab one proper meal when the day comes. In a country that is now one of the richest per capita and the fastest growing on planet Earth today. Let me repeat. Profiting over 30 million US a day and giving 4,800 a month, less than one US dollar a day, 80 cents to be exact, to all the minimum wages workers to carry home. You believe this? When cost of living went up 100% and in some cases 200%, is this for real, man? Pumping over half a million barrels a day without our own meters that they pump? Huh? Just correct that madness alone. Salaries can go up by a full 100%. But let's forget that. Push the in corner. Cap the interest rates on ExxonMobil. Salaries can move up 300%. Let's drop that too. Demand full taxes and more royalties. Hmm. Salaries can increase 400%. Again, let's throw that in the wastebasket and forget it. Grab back. The 20% rich Starbrook block from Exxon. Oh, Papa. Oh, Mama. Salaries can be increased 500%. Again, let's dump that in the Atlantic Ocean. The same way Exxon dumping the produced water into it. Let's do that. Man. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ring fence the oil projects. Yes. Ring fence them oil projects. None Guyanese got to hurt them head about salaries anymore. All of your worries done right there. Ring fence the oil projects and money will flow just like the oil flowing out there into your bank accounts. Money will be so much that you can mine your family them, any part of the world them live in, and still live a better life than the people in Dubai. But I am not listening. So, y'all continue to keep your mouth shut, eyes and ears closed, with your hands, the two hands between your legs and allow these politicians to continue managing the oil sector in that manner. Y'all will forever be collecting ravelings. This is how the slave masters, along with corrupt leaders, kept the brown and black people across the world for centuries. Keep them hungry, keep them occupied, hustling for a meal, day in, day out. So. You have no time to rebel against this injustice. Come 2024, y'all would get a tap up. And in 2025, you're gonna get the full dollar for that special finger. 
And I you enjoy the force like spunking pepper pot for Christmas? If I you can.